people out here cannot drive. Are you? Um, I just got back surgery like two weeks ago. What? You are alone. You're the guys that's with my fading horse. Welcome and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a day vlog. I just finished making my pre-workout. It's um, Alani New. I'm not really a fan of pre-workout, but um, I've been following um, a program that was made for me and those the program is very intense. So I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare and then my hair and then we're gonna head out. Um, I'm going to go in with the Good Molecules Ultra Hydrating Facial Oil. And then I'm going to top it up with their um, Lightweight Moisturizer. Okay, so today is leg day, y'all. I absolutely love leg day because, one, I feel like it challenges me the most. And then, two, who doesn't like a big dumpa, okay? And the pump after my workouts are so, like, yummy. How could, you, how could you not? But also most importantly, I feel like the program, the program as a whole is challenging, but the leg days especially are challenging, which makes sense because I told her like, hey, I'm trying to be like a little Megan the Stallion. And she was like, bet. <laughs> and she really followed through because I have seen the most gains using this program. So I got this program last year, actually last eight, say yeah because it's a six-week program and i was supposed to finish in june and then when it was finished i kind of just said okay i'm just gonna go back to what i normally do um even though she was like you know you can repeat the program etc etc i was like yeah but it was just a little bit too intense so i'm gonna go back to my workouts and i still didn't see as much growth as i did when i was using the program so this is going to be my third time doing this program. I did it again um, right before my birthday <laughs> and then now. So I'm. you would think that I would be used to it given how many times I've done it. But no, y'all, the workouts really be taking me out. And that's why I'm making sure to drink my pre-workout so that I can get um, the whole workout done. Now it's 5.30, so I really do need to hurry up. I just want a rough neck nigga on the top You just want to send me automatic with a drop Hit me if I finish now, I'm just for gun I ain't giving out no nutty to no nigga just for fun Are you dumb? Uh-uh It's the man, I don't know no other man You fuck like a hundred niggas just for a hundred bands Got me a hundred pieces. I'm still gonna make me a hundred M's with a hundred plans. <laughs> Give me that song. Extend Okay, guys, I am finally back home. Yeah, that workout did its big one. It got to the point where like my my hair started unraveling because I was sweating so much. My legs started shaking. I was like, oh. Oh, this is the big one um, but it is now seven o'clock i'm gonna walk sienna and then i'm gonna have breakfast and get ready for the day i'm trying to be out the house like 9 15 ish so i have a good chunk of time to get ready um i really 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 don't like rushing in the morning because one i'm not a morning person to begin with and then two i hate feeling rushed so with those two in combination i'm just like you know what i'm gonna get there when i get there but today is going to be a very work heavy day today's wednesday but like who wants to work on the weekend so i'm trying to get as much 
um, done today that I can, especially because I have so many deadlines this weekend. So I'm trying to get as much done today so that on the weekend I don't really have much to do. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Oh my gosh. I forgot who this was for a second. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm playing. I'm doing good. How are you? Um, I just got back surgery like two weeks ago. What? Okay, I guys. So I am now on campus. I am in my office at my desk. I'm really like the only one in here, even though there's like three other people that's supposed to be in here, but I'm really the only one that I ever see at least come in here. Um, my mentor called me so random. I love talking with her. She's amazing. Absolutely love her. Um, make sure that if you are in any type of field, anything, whatever, make sure to get a mentor or adult mentor that you can relate to and that you can really be yourself and talk to because... She just gave me so much wisdom on things that I didn't even know I needed wisdom with right now in my life. So shout out to her. Um, but I just started some doing some budgeting because baby, my finances are looking atrocious. Um, I went through my to do list already and I don't have much to do. I do have like it's not a lot, but each of them does require a good chunk of effort. So um, I'm gonna start that, it's 9.37 right now, and then my meeting with my advisor is at 10.30, so that gives me like a good hour-ish to um, start some stuff. I think I'm gonna start one of my assignments because that has to do with like, um, I have to do some data analysis and then write that up, so I'll just get the analysis out the way and then write it up later this afternoon when I get back to working on it um so that's what I'm gonna do today so let me stop rambling because like I said I have about an hour to get this thing started and then I'm going to oh I also have to book my wax yeah I'm gonna do that out the way because I don't want her calendar to fill up before I can get an appointment it's just so many things to do as an adult do you guys realize that like the older you get there's just always something to do i'm getting used to it but it's still very very shocking to me how it's like always something to do one thing about me i'm a complaint <laughs> but yeah let me get this work done <laughs> are summing up what I got from the UCF progress data. All right, so it's now 1240. <clears throat> I'm headed to the office for my internship. Um, for Tuesdays, Tuesdays to Thursday, I work one to six. I know, girl, I know. Um, but so far the day has been going really good. Um, I got some work done and met with my advisor, had lunch, posted a TikTok, um, updated my to-do list for today. I added a little bit of extra stuff because tomorrow 
I had to schedule a meeting, so that cut that's going to cut into my time that I have for work. So I want to get it done today since I most likely won't get it done tomorrow. But so far, the day's been really good. I really would like a nap, but um, that's nef definitely not going to happen. I wish I had my um, ginseng. Uh, I was taking these ginseng. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. Ginseng about ba ba something. It's basically this root that's supposed to provide you with energy. I was taking that and it was helping sometimes, but it wouldn't last. Like I would get a surge of energy for like a good five, six hours and then crash. It was like coffee to me. So that sounds like it doesn't make sense to get it anymore, but I kind of wish I had it now because I'm really, I really would like a nap. But for today, I think I have one meeting at 1.30. I don't know how long that is gonna be. I think it's supposed to be an interview with um, one of the agencies that we are looking to put in our report. And then after that, um, it's just work. I kind of like it that way because when I'm tired like this and then I have meetings after meetings, I'd be so drained. I'd be so, so, so drained. But if I can just like do work, I can just stay focused and try and push through. Meetings, it's just so draining. Um... But then that's probably just my mood for right now because catch me in two weeks, I'm gonna be like, I prefer meetings over doing work. It really just depends on my mood. But today, I feel like that's gonna be good for me with the state that I'm in right now. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is Tallahassee, if this is just Tallahassee because it's like a college town, there's a lot of like college kids driving around, but these people out here cannot drive. Why are you that close to me? People just be driving up under you like, ugh, I hate it so much. Okay guys, so it is now 7.27. Um, I've been home for about an hour. I just, well I didn't finish. I'm still making dinner. Um, I have the chili cooking. It's about gonna be done in about 10 minutes. And then I also made some cornbread. Because I don't know how to cook for one person, that's gonna be my dinner for tonight and then lunch and dinner for tomorrow. Which isn't bad, cause you know, saves me some money. Um, what I'm gonna do tonight is I only have a couple things left to do on my to-do list for school so I have to watch um, the focus group that they did for one of my classes which is about an hour and some long um, and then write about that for our discussion board and then I started one of my assignments for my stats class but we have that's due next week, Wednesday, and we have another assignment that's due Sunday, so I'm gonna get a head start on that. And that's really all I have for the rest of the night. So I actually think I will be in bed by like 10.30, the latest, and that's like, if everything goes good. I will say this, and then next thing you know, I'm in bed by 11, but I really don't wanna be up later than that because I still have to go to the gym tomorrow. I'm really gonna try to stay awake and then um, get all that work done, so yeah that is the update for now um wish me luck because i might get the itis once i eat this food so we'll see So it is the next morning. My battery died while I was getting some work done. But on the right side, I did end up doing everything that I needed to do. And I finished right on time. I finished, I went to bed about 10.30. So that was really great. I didn't make it to the gym this morning because, yeah, that 5 a.m. was not going to happen. But like I said, on the bright side, I did get all that work done. So I'm just going to go to the gym tonight. Um... But yeah, that marks the end of this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.